Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to LJC Crafts. Today we are going to be making this cute snake pencil hugger. This is also my custom design. To make this, you're going to need two black elastics, 34 of these dark pink elastics, and eight of these light pink elastics. You can also use your own colors or your own pattern of the snake. It doesn't matter, which is the great thing about this. So you're also going to need a main pick and a pencil, a pen, or another pick. Now let's get started. So now you should have all the tools you need, your pen or pencil, or in my case, another pick, your colors, you can be four colors or just one color, and I have my pick. This is what the snake looks like when it's not on the pencil. It's a very simple and easy design. So let's get started. So we're going to get one purple in my case, any color for you. I'm gonna put it on my pick and we're gonna wrap it around three times. So that's one. I'm gonna twist it, put it over two and three. So there should be three rows of bands. Okay, now I'm going to get two more purple ones. This can be any color for you, it does not matter. And you're going to put it on the hook like that, bring it upwards, and now you're gonna grab these elastics right here, and you're going to wanna bring it over the hook like that. So it should be on that other elastic that you have added. Now you wanna bring that new elastic down and over. So if this part's complicating for you, um, don't worry, I'm going to repeat it some more. If you already know how to do this, then this snake is going to be super easy for you. So I'm going to get two more purples, any color you would like. And I'm going to put it on my pick as so. And I want to bring these, so there should be four elastics, for rows of elastics, over and under. So we're going to do this until we have a total of five. So right now we have two, so we need three more. I'm going to add another purple. Over and repeat that step before. Okay. So now for me, I'm going to now finally add my blues. So it can be any color you'd like, of course. I just like blues and purples. So we're going to put a blue over, put this over it, just like before. Over. So now we have a total of four. One last time, we're going to get this, put it over, bring this above, and this is called looping, just like so, bring it, and like that. So now we have this. So this part is a bit more complicated, but really it's very simple. So what you're going to want to do is see the end, this end band, there should be three layers of... side. So we're going to get that one black elastic, bring it to the pick, and we're going to repeat the same thing we did with those purple ones and all of the bands before that. 
going to bring these purples above the, on that black elastic, just to like so, keep the blue one down there. And then we are going to repeat that motion we have done. Sometimes the bands do get caught underneath, that's okay, you just lift them up, pull down, and bring the black over, just like that. So now, we are just going to do one more purple band. So we're going to get two purple bands, one and two, like so. Bring them to the pick, and do the same thing we did before, except with the black. We're going to bring the black over the pick, like that, and down, and over. So now this is when you're going to need this yellow pick. Okay, so you're going to get your yellow pick, or your pencil, or pen. So this part is a bit tricky. You're going to want to pull these elastics, hold it with this hand so it stays. You're going to want to get your yellow pick, or any pick or pen, and you're going to want to reach down, like so, into the purple elastics, like that. So this should be caught on the purple elastics. So now you can let go, and what we're going to do is we're going to bring this forward, so make sure the purple elastics are not going to fall off, we're going to pull it up, holding these blue ones down, like that. So we're going to ignore this side now, and we're going to repeat what we did on this side to this side. So you're going to want to loom three purple ones, one black one, and then one more purple or whatever color you have chosen. Just make sure that you have that singular black one as the fourth, or if you want a different colored eye. Just make sure you have a singular eye. So now, as you can see, I've repeated the same thing I've done this side to this side. So your thing should look somewhat like this, except different colors. So now you can pull this, these four elastics down, and we're going to transfer this back here. So a way I like to do it that is easiest for me is there are other ways to transfer it. I just like doing it this way. I just take the elastics off. Make sure you hold them. I just take them off like that. Grab them with my fingers, bring them back to the blue, and then just put the blue through. The blue probably will miss some. As you can see, I've only put two in. That's okay. Just go back and put the rest. So now you should have a total of eight elastics, four on here and four here on two, groups of two. So now the final step, we are almost done, guys. We are going to get a purple one. And we get two purples, actually, or any colors you'd like. Again, going to put it over, do the same thing, loop, except we're going to bring all eight of these over here. So it's going to be quite a lot. So you can do this in sections. So I'm going to just like so grab two, grab the bottom, and then put it over like so. Make sure none fall. Pull like that. And then bring these two bands over as so. So now the final step, guys, we are almost there. We are going to get some red elastics. At this point, we only need one. This is going to be the color of the tongue. It's right there. You can have the tongue different color. Just for me, I want it red. So I'm going to get my red elastic, and I'm going to pull it like this. I'm going to do the same thing. Bring these four, bring it over, just like so, and like that. So now to end it off, we are going to see how the pick is there. We're going to get the band that's farthest away from the pick. Okay, we're going to grab it and put it over that one just like so. So we made a knot. And then we're just going to hold it and pull. So we are going to hold this elastic at the bottom and just pull it like that until it's pretty tight. Don't pull it too tight or it's going to break. So now this is the face. We're just going to squish the face a bit. Stretch it out a bit, and now you have your snake. I'm going to show you now how to put it on the pencil. To get our basic pencil and our snake that we just made, the loop that we made at the bottom, we are going to put over the end of the pencil, which is, for me, an eraser. We're going to pull this down. We're going to get its tongue that has a loop in it and do the same exact thing. And now we have this. So we can stretch out the snake and twist it by holding on to its tongue and there we go and now you have a cute snake pencil hugger i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and like and come back next time we post a new video so you can see more creations you can make with rainbow bye